Okay, you guys, I am back. Okay, sorry. I am back. And you all wanted questions and answers. And this is my third week baby is home. And here is today's date. Today is Tuesday the 23rd. My baby will be a month next week. I cannot believe it. I can't believe it. But anyways, this is my talking vlog of my third week baby home. Um, newborn. Okay, so this is my talking vlog with, um, and it's gonna be, can it go upstairs? Now, it's time for you to go to bed. I'm not gonna say it again. It's eight o'clock. It is eight o'clock. <laughs> um, <laughs> Y'all, this, this is my, okay, this is my talking vlog of third week newborn baby home having a newborn with a toddler and I've also done questions and answers. So first we're gonna talk about third week baby home. Okay, so basically having a newborn and a toddler is a lot. Um, but anyways, my baby was, she was small. She was smaller than Kinsley, not too small, but she was smaller than Kinsley. Kinsley was huge, um, but She's getting bigger now. She's getting more aware. First of all, my baby wants to hold her head up and look around everywhere like she wants to see what's going on. I'm like, wait, you're, well, she started doing it when she was like two weeks. You're two weeks. What are you doing? Who are you trying to look for? But, um, y'all, it's the best thing ever. I love her so much. And Kinsley adores her. Um... She wants to hug and kiss on her and hold her all day. And she'll sit there and she'll multitask. Um, she's so overbearing. Um, I have to tell her, like, Kinsley, give the baby some space. Kenny, the baby is asleep. Like, the baby will be asleep and Kinsley just rip the blankets off. She's hot, mommy. She's hot. I'm like, Kinsley, she's not hot. She's resting. She only sleeps for a certain amount of time. You're going to wake her up. But... The, the blessing part of it is, like, Kelsey sleeps through anything. Like, the house could be shaking loud. She's knocked out. And, you know, during the day is when she really, like, she's up during the day. She'll take her long naps, but she's up. There's a part of the day where she's up for a long time. But during the night, so blessed. I'm so blessed. But my baby sleeps through the night. We only get up a couple times throughout the night. Like, we, we'll sleep, like, maybe three and four hours at a time so that's like a blessing to me y'all because that means i only have to wake up like two times in the middle of the night two three times which that's perfectly fine because she be knocked out and those times that i'm up i wake her up because like my boobs are filling up so i have to feed her but yeah it's the best thing ever um because during and then i don't really feel bad because during the day she eats every two hours or really every hour to hour and a half she's super greedy um but she's a she's such a blessing y'all and um so the next thing i'm going to talk about is well y'all see my labor vlog y'all that was a lot like it took a lot for me to put that up because um it was really something private and people are so rude because i gave y'all that labor vlog first of all that was big to me that was a lot because that was something very personal to me but you all begged and begged and begged and begged and begged for a labor vlog but people are mad because i won't show my baby's face now it's just proper etiquette i never agree with showing newborn's face when kenzie was a baby i didn't want to show her because now my baby is adorable y'all she's the cutest little thing her little cheeks are so fat but i don't want to show her face so when i decide to show her face that's what I would decide to show her face. Yeah, I show y'all a part of my life. And yes, I welcome y'all with open arms. And I want to include y'all in as much as I can. But certain things I still want to keep to myself. I'm still enjoying being a new mom of two and enjoying my baby. So if I don't choose to upload her face, so be it. It's my life. You know, it's, it's my choice on my life. So people are having a really big issue with that, which I don't know why. Which is kind of weird to me. I don't know. I don't know. 
I choose to let y'all see what I want y'all to see. So when I don't want to show y'all a part of me and y'all get mad, it's like, you ungrateful little twit. Like, I didn't want to show you this, so don't be upset. Anyway, I could ramble on and on and on and on, but let's get to these questions. Um, Let me open up my Instagram. So I'm going to open a few questions. I'm going to answer a few questions. I asked y'all on my Instagram what questions y'all want. So... For like new mom advice okay so the first question is how does the pain feel when you gave birth um well I guess we're talking about contractions because I definitely got the epidural so I don't know how it feels to push a baby out um so the contractions were intense now mind y'all when I went to my doctor's appointment that day um I was four centimeters now with Kinsley I got the epidural at three centimeters and I was walking around at four centimeters. So when she told me that, I sent myself into labor basically, as you all can see. And I had a really fast labor. I didn't stay for a long um, time. Picture this, okay, I only had one nurse. I had the same nurse my entire labor and you know they have different shifts. But um, the labor pains are horrid. Horrid. Um, I tried to be a G. I tried to put up with the pains, but the closer I got to getting to seven centimeters, it was like my body felt like it just couldn't take anymore. And the best advice I give to people who want to just keep going with the contractions, what worked for me and my cousin gave me this advice is when you have a contractions, you want to breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth and just let your body go limp. Let your body go and embrace that contraction because when you tense up, you make it worse. And I also learned, like, um, tell everybody to be quiet in the room because any little noise is going to get to you. I was cursing everybody out. Um, Summer had a bag of chips in the room, and I was very upset. I don't know if they recorded that part, but I was very upset because I heard her bag of chips crumble. And I told her, do not do that again. <laughs> Don't do that again while I'm having a contraction. When I have a contraction, I want the room to be silent. And everything else was just a breeze. The only thing is I was starving. Um, when the doctor told me that I was not sitting here, I was like, yes, yeah, close to glory. Thank you, Jesus. And um, so, yeah, sorry I rambled on about that. Um, how many hours of sleep do you get? Um, probably five. Maybe a good five. <laughs> okay, yeah, five. Uh, how painful was breastfeeding at first? Um, breastfeeding at first doesn't hurt. Now, this is the thing about breastfeeding. You have to bear the first three weeks. The first three weeks are going to be the first worst three weeks ever. Your nipples might bleed. Your nipples are going to be tender every time the baby latches on. It's going to feel like needles are probably coming out your nipples. Um, first, you want to make sure that the baby latches on correctly. And then you also want to buy this, um, grease that I have upstairs. Sorry, I don't want to go back upstairs. <laughs> it's called Lanolin. It comes in like a lavender um, bottle. They sell it at everywhere. Um, and I'll put, I put a link to where you can buy it down below. But you put that on your nipples so it prevents your nipples from getting dry and cracked. Um, <laughs> did having Kelsey hurt more than having Kel Kinsley? Yes, because I didn't put up with labor pains for too long with Kinsley. Like I said, I got the epidural at 3 centimeters and I was walking around 4 centimeters with Kelsey. So when I got the ep epidural at 6.5 centimeters, it was because I couldn't bear the pain. And you know, the closer you get to 10 centimeters, the worse the contractions get. And I just couldn't handle it anymore. Um, as a mother of one anxious to have another little one, I want to know how it is balancing two now. Is it any harder? Um, it's not really hard. It's just challenging because, yeah, the babies don't really require that much attention. But because I breastfeed and, um, the baby does get a little more attention. But Kinsley isn't jealous. It's, it's just the acting out part. You just have to make sure you lock down on the acting out part. Because if you don't, whew, um what oils do you use for your tummy to prevent stretch marks oh okay so the oil that i use for my stretch marks is called bio oil and what i did was every day i was smelling like 
intense because I was juiced down with that oil. Um, every day I was really, really greasy. Every time I thought about it, I put the oil on my stomach and on my side and on my hips because I knew I didn't want stretch marks. Um, so that's what I use. And I use it on my breasts too because, mind y'all, I went from a B to a D. So you can imagine how my breasts are going to be the second time around. I'm really scared. I'm really nervous. I might go get a boob job. Might. But um, I put it on my breasts too to prevent stretch marks on my breasts too. So I don't have any stretch marks um, from that. And I still put it on my stomach even after I had her. Um... What did you do and did you eat anything specific or do little workouts for your snapback? I heard it's harder after baby number two. Um, so after I, after I had her, my stomach was pretty much not flat, but flat, but still kind of bloated. Um, so what I did was, you know, breastfeeding helps out a lot. You know, when you breastfeed, you burn calories. So that's why they always say breast is best for baby and you. And that's the complete truth, y'all, because breastfeeding, it shrinks your uterus faster. Um, and also it helps move everything back the way it's supposed to be faster and getting your body healthy and drown yourself with water. Drown yourself with water. Um, I drink water all day. Um, water is my best friend. I'm starting to get sick of it, but hey. Um, and I'll also say eating in small in portions. Um, I don't do it all the time, y'all. I dogs food out, and I dogs. My favorite thing now is the fudge round cakes. But um, in the hospital, what? I was eating. They had the best hospital food. I would always recommend Johns Creek Hospital to anybody. They had steaks, little big potatoes, cheese and broccoli, salmon anything shrimp skewers it had gourmet cooking for me child i was i was grabbing down i still grab down i i will dog some food out seriously um i oh and i didn't work out at all i have i haven't done any workouts um i'm nervous about that because my organs that's why they say you have to wait six to eight weeks because your organs have to fall back down into place to where they originally were because you know when you're pregnant the baby pushes everything up and out the way for baby to grow. So you have to think about that. And women, you know, rushing to go work out and let your body heal naturally first before you go and do those. I also do not waist train. Big no no. Big no no. Um, how long does it take for your vagina to fully heal from natural birth? <laughs> um. So first, what the hospital is going to tell you is, and I am a very firm believer, do your Kegels. Do your Kegels. Um, and a good way to do your Kegels is when you're peeing, <laughs> you in the middle of your pee, stop your pee and hold it for 10 seconds. It's just going to be the hardest thing after, ever, especially after you had a baby. But hold it for 10 seconds and release it. And then when you're done peeing, Hold again for 10 seconds and release. And that's doing your Kegels. Um, but, I mean, I don't know. I guess it takes the full six to eight weeks. I don't know. I haven't put it to the test. So, I don't know. But your vagina definitely goes back to normal. Um, how is it emotionally being a single mom of two? Um, it's fine because, you know, when I'm missing, my baby girls give me. Um, you know, of course you want that companionship, but child, I'm okay. My day is full enough to not be worried about any man right now. That's the last thing on my mind. Um, how long do you plan on breastfeeding? I breastfed with Kinsley since she was one. I'm trying to go to one and a half with Kelsey, but we'll see. I don't know. Um... I love y'all asking the same questions. Um, and oh, somebody asked me in my DM. I don't know if they put it underneath the picture, but um, about um, did I rip or did I tear? Did I get a PC out of me? This time I did not get a PC out of me. Um, but last time with Kinsley, she had to cut me and I had to get stitches, which was the worst thing ever, y'all. I was scared of the boo boo. 
I was scared to pee. I was scared to sit down on the toilet because I thought, oh, it made my veins weak just thinking about it. Ugh. I was scared to do anything, but this time I didn't tear or I didn't, <laughs> I didn't have to get cut. He said I tore just a t tiny bit, but it wasn't enough to do stitches. He said it'll heal naturally. Um, yeah, hemorrhoids. You, um, if you prevent hemorrhoids, God bless you. God bless you because babies give you some hemorrhoids and it's an embarrassing subject but I'm very open to talk about it because damn I have two fucking kids and hemorrhoids are real and they come from pushing a baby out and the baby weighing down on your rectum when you're when they're in you they weigh down because that's what happened with Kelsey she dropped down and caused me to have a hemorrhoid so bad y'all I couldn't walk I couldn't sit down it hurts so and I couldn't do anything about it like you know the doctor was like well I could push it up but it's gonna come right back down because she dropped and she that's where she's at she's on your rectum to cause it oh it was horrible y'all but I'm normal um it doesn't hurt anymore but definitely going to have it um this? nothing for you can we go and go to bed now but yes, y'all, thank y'all so much for watching yet another one of my videos. I'm going to have another one. Um, I'll do like a little video thing of me setting up Kelsey's little month picture thing. <laughs> um, and next, I'm going to probably give y'all a makeup tutorial because I finally put my hair in, y'all. I've been looking a mess these past three weeks. i just been able to wash my hair every three days, wear it curly, and put it up in a ponytail. I haven't been able to do anything, so. But it's done, y'all, and I'll be just fine. But, anyway, but anyways, I am wearing hair everywhere, of course, because that's all I wear. I love them. Um, this is the Malaysian Straight. Malaysia straight and I am wearing um, a 22 and two 20s. This is three bundles in my hair. Um, and all I did was run the flat iron through it again. But I will put the link down in my description box below on where to get this. They always have hella good sales. Good ass sales. Um, so I would definitely take advantage of that. So yeah. So yeah, be on the lookout for my next video. I'll probably be uploading it soon. Kenny. Come on, you can come tell them bye again. And that concludes this video. Say bye. 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 Say thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Bye. Leave with.